Hi, I'm Emma and I'm going to show you how you can quickly model a new product based on an existing one using the scenario feature. This can actually allow you to model new products maybe in a matter of minutes or even seconds sometimes. So it's very useful to know how this works and how you can use it. So I'm going to use this t-shirt as an example and here we see this whole inventory that we built for this product. We have this complete model. Now actually we want to produce this t-shirt, something similar to this, but then in a kids variant. So it will have less fabric for example and less material. We also are going to make it purple. So it's going to be a lot alike but there are a few differences. And of course what I could do is create a new product and build the inventory for that and use all of these items. And I can do that but it will probably take me a little bit of time. What I could also do, since the product is quite similar, is create a scenario of this product using the scenario feature and only changing the things that are different and keeping the rest of the model as it is. This can save me a lot of time, so maybe I can even build this product in seconds or something. And we're going to use the scenario feature for that. If you have never seen the scenario feature before and you don't know how it works, you might want to check out our other video about that feature. Now we're just going to get straight into it, so we're just going to create a scenario here. What we see now is that we have our original model and here we have the scenario or the copy of the t-shirt recycled PE white. And we're going to turn this copy into our kids t-shirt. So the first thing that I'm going to do is change the name of the copy. I'm going to just call it kids t-shirt. We're also going to make it purple. So I'm going to add that in the name. And now by naming this, we have our new product already in the library. Now we just want to make sure that the model also represents this product. So I need to change two things in this case. First off, I need to change the amount of fabric because the t-shirt is smaller so it will use less fabric. And I also need to add some purple colorant to it because now we're going to work with purple fabric and it's almost the same except for the colorant. So let's make those changes. Let's say that our kids t-shirt only uses 0.8 square meters of fabric. And now we're also going to change the fabric and I'm going to add just the colorant. What is nice about this feature is that Mobius will leave all the original items exactly the same in the scenario feature. So when I'm done adding this item, you will see that it made a copy and the original item is still unaltered. So that is very nice to keep it that way. So let's say that we need 0.2 kilograms of colorant and add it. And now you see that it put copy in the name of this recycled PE fabric white and you see that's not the same anymore as this old item which is perfect because that's exactly what we need. So I'm just going to change this name to purple fabric, press enter. And then the rest of our model will be the same. We're still using the same amount of electricity for our uh, kids t-shirt. This is how we built this product quickly and now if we go to our products library let's just check that out. We see that we have this new product, the kids t-shirt, and we can open it. We see that the whole inventory is complete and all the things that are different are also in there. So in this video I've shown you how you can use the scenario functionality to quickly model new products based on existing ones. As you can imagine, this can save you a lot of time. So that's very nice to know. If you want to know more about this feature or about something else, please check out our resources that we have available or get in touch with us. Good luck making your own LCAs.